Listen, people are in love with their Instapots. Look at this. There's even a Facebook group for them right now. More than a million members there. They were flying off the shelves on Black Friday last year. Many stores are selling out. But this morning, some customers say one model is melting. It was one of the most talked about brands of the holiday season. It's called the Instant Pot. It does slow cooking. It does pressure cooking. It even makes rice. It blows everybody else away. It's Instant Pot. Everybody's using it. One woman even crediting her Instant Pot with helping her lose 80 pounds. It makes cooking healthy food fast. But this morning, some units of one model of Instant Pot have not only been cooking. I first noticed the separation in the front. But also melting. This is what mother of three, Vanessa LeClaire, says she discovered on her Instant Pot multi-cooker just two weeks ago. The bottom melted. The wires scorched. I was scared. <laughs> I'm glad I found it before I tried to use it again. And she's not the only one. The company saying on Facebook, we have received a small number of reports of the Gem 65 8-in-1 multi-cooker overheating, resulting in localized melting damage. Customers heated. One writing, I have seen bubbles forming on the bottom of mine. As a parent, that's not something that I want to have to worry about when I get a product from the store. The complaints, only about one of Instant Pot's 14 models, the Gem 65 8-in-1 multi-cooker. It's their only model with that oval shape. Instant Pot telling ABC News and its customers that they'll provide next steps about replacements shortly, but the company has not issued a recall. Only two years old, but there's a lot of great family meals we cooked in that. The safety of home cookers on the minds of many after a recent episode of a popular TV show portrayed a malfunctioning fictional crockpot setting fire to a popular character's home. I never got batteries for the smoke detectors. Crockpot clarifying in a statement, for nearly 50 years we have never received any consumer complaints similar to the fictional events portrayed. In fact, the safety of our product renders this nearly impossible. As for Vanessa, she wants this scare with her Instant Pot to be her last. I don't know if I'd ever want to get another Instant Pot. I enjoy how it cooked the food, but not as much as I enjoy the safety of my family. Good point. Instant Pot says they're cooperating with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission and tells ABC News they take any problem with their product extremely seriously. But customers are frustrated because one even claims that it's been months since they issued, you know, they brought this issue to their attention and still no recall. But as you pointed out, this only affects some units of one model. So how right. can people know if there's a safe? So the good news is it's not the pressure cookers, okay? We've got a photo right now that shows you the multi-cooker. It's the Gem 65 8-in-1. And it's only ones that have a very specific four-digit number called a batch code. You can find that batch code on the silver label on the underside of that device. Uh, you can see those batch codes right there on your screen. You can also find them on goodmorningamerica.com. If your product has one of these numbers, the company says stop using it immediately and get in touch with them. Mm. Advice there. Thank you, Gio. Great advice.